Nuri from Bangladesh has a long question and in short, the marriage was done with a boy without the consent of the father or the approval of the father. And the Prophet said, there is no marriage valid without the consent and approval and the proposal of the wali, the guardian. After two years, she came back to her family, complaining that she was beaten up by her so-called husband. Now, after six years, they don't know where the whereabout of the boy and they want her to get married to someone else. But they don't know if he divorced or not. This, this kind of complicated matters can only be resolved at a Muslim court where you are, you're from. So you're from Bangladesh, go to the Muslim court and talk to the Muslim judge, show him the credentials, the papers. Oh, we don't have a, pay, a, a, a contract, Sheikh. How did you make the, the marriage? There was only a Maulana and two male witnesses. Go get the Maulana and the two male witnesses to testify. Oh, we can't allocate them. Tough bananas. Go to the court or do whatever you want, call the Interpol, because I will not give you a fatwa that the marriage is invalid and you can marry whoever you wish because the vast majority of the people in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, follow the Hanafi madhab, which states that a marriage is valid without the consent of the guardian, which is totally wrong. And this goes against the madhab of Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i, Imam Ahmad, and the vast majority of the scholars of Islam, including the hadith of the Prophet which is crystal clear. But we cannot give a fatwa for a specific case like this without the Muslim ruler, the Muslim judge intervening and looking into it. I